Hi, this is Mike from Bandlab, and in this video, we're going to make a contemporary synth pop beat in Bandlab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 170 beats per minute and the project key to F major. Although the chords really be the core of this tune, I'm going to start by making a drum part because I want to make sure the track has that energetic synth pop feel. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, Prince kit, which gives us some solid 80s style drum machine hits. I put kicks on odd number beats and snares on even numbered beats. I duplicate this bar out for the rest of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, highlight them and then hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and then drag them over. To spice up this beat and give it that high energy 80s feel, I add extra kicks after the third beat of the second bar, after the third beat of the fourth bar, and on the final eighth note of the fourth bar. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB, so I have more headroom in the mix to add other elements. Next I'd like to add some hats, but I don't want to use the hi-hat sound in the Prince kit. So I open BandLab Sounds and click the Loops tab and enter hats into the text search field. Hardware Hats 03 is the sound I'm after, so I drag it into the project and use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for 4 bars. Now it's time to compose some chords to base the track around. I add a new instrument track and set this one to Keyboards, Pianos, Studio Grand. I turn this track down to minus 8 dB. I compose a chord progression that goes F major, G major, A minor, E minor. To give this part a more atmospheric feel, I open the effects panel and add a reverb, studio reverb, setting the mix to 5.1 and the size to 7.6. With the chords down, I want to add a lead line. I add an instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth keys, sawtooth harp. I set this track to minus 6 dB. This part hits the tonic of F major, and then on the octave up it plays the 2nd, 3rd, and 5th. For the next chord it does the same thing but for G major, root, 2nd, 3rd, 5th. For the A minor we have the root, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And for the E minor again we have the root, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. This part is musically sound, but it's kind of plain at the moment. Let's liven it up with some delay. In the effects panel, I add a delay filter echo. I set the delay time to 353 milliseconds, which is approximately one quarter note at 170 beats per minute. I set the mix to 29% and the feedback to 51%. I also add a studio reverb. Now it's time for a bass line. I'm going to use the Bases, Synth Bases, Moog Bass patch. I turn this track down to minus 13 dB. This part follows the root of the chords. This sound doesn't have a crazy amount of mid-range, yet I'd still like to smooth it out a little to make more space in the mix for the mid-range elements. So I add a tone, multi-filter effect, and set the frequency knob to around 200 Hz. I 
I also want a polysynth sound, and for this, I select Keyboards, Synth Pads, Retro Juno Pad. I set this track to minus 6 dB. This plays the same chords as the piano part. For the arrangement, I use a structure that builds up from the synth lead. We start with just the synth lead, and have automated the frequency of a multi-filter effect to filter this part in and out throughout the track. In the next section, the kicks and snares come in. Then the bass and hats drop. Then the polysynth joins the mix. Again, I've used a multi-filter with an automated frequency to filter this in. Then the keys are added. We break down to just the lead synth, which this time plays a variation on the melody to create a bridge. The beats and bass kick back in, and this time the bass plays a different part to fit the new bridge melody. In the next section, the hats come in, and we revert to the original melody and bass. At this point, we're simply repeating the structure from bar 17 onwards. On bar 89, we return to the bridge melody and bass, with the hats dropping out before the end of the track. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!